The place started in the uh, actually 1970. Um, Mike Amazich is the owner still to this day, um, and it, it started out with the one room, which is now our bar, um, and it was it was basically just a uh, carry out pizza joint. Um, in the 80s, they really got into um, wines, particularly domestic wines, um, and from there they bought uh, this area, which was a, a bike shop, and then they started doing the brickwork and. Didn't really have too much of a plan as to what they were gonna uh, really do with the bricks, and that's sort of um, why it looks so unique. Uh, and so that's kind of it, you know. And it's it's been pretty much the same ever since, you know. Well, it's really uh, a, a thin, crispy crust. Um, you know, like I said, it, it's vegan, so it's really light. Um, we actually age it three days after uh, rolling out the crust, so it has a really nice crunch to it. And I think that's that's sort of the the difference with our crust as opposed to um, other crusts in the city. Um, we call it the home of the hundred dollar pizza. You know, you, you order a pizza, you order a bottle of wine, there you are. Um, and you know, we never see anyone leave uh, regretting paying that. You know, the, the wine is great and the pizza is great. So you know, over 500 different wines. Hopefully, there's something you know for you on that list. My father had a tavern. Uh, in the old Third Ward in Milwaukee, which was primarily the Italian district, he opened up the tavern in 1951. And 1954, he started serving pizzas. Uh, he was at that location for another two years, and then uh, they bought the tavern and knocked it down, and the, he came to this location, 19, October 1956. And we've been here ever since. I think the the big thing about our recipe is our crust. It's very, very thin. My father did a lot of experimenting to get the crust the way he wanted to. The sauce for the recipe came from a good family friend of my father's. His mother, uh, Mrs. Miliacho, they had, uh, the, story go the story that I remember was that he took the sauce from there. My grandfather on my mother's side, he had a butcher shop. So all the Italian sausage and pepperoni was fresh from them, and they were right across the street at the time. So it kind of worked out really nice. Uh, but but I think everybody seems to talk about our sauce and our crust. We've got a lot of customers. We've, we're on like a third generation of, of people, and we still get people coming in here, you know, old timers that remember the place down in the old Third War. So we got a great we've got a great uh, customer base and it's uh, already going in the second and third generations, which is pretty neat. I mean, I've seen kids grow up to get married, they're bringing their kids out in now. It's, it's, it's pretty cool that way. Milwaukee's a, a city that once, once they like you and you serve them a, a good product for, for a reasonable price, you'll do fine. Um, I was in retail forever and I found out my store was going to be closing um, and Gina, at the time um, was a stay-at-home mom and we both wanted to do something but we wanted to do something for ourselves. So uh, when this particular New Year's Eve we made a toast to each other that we were going to do something that year and after that we made a list of options and this is what it was and it's the one we picked actually and it worked. <laughs> I think it's unique because it's our mom's recipes and we combine them together to kind of make our own. We are really picky about the ingredients that we use too. Yeah. Um, can't tell you how many different types of sauce we tried, how many types of sausage, how much cheese. Yeah, yeah. just everything. I mean, very, even, very picky. Yeah. Um, Incredibly. Not many people do make them in rectangular sheets. I think that sets us apart a little bit. Yeah. Well, because we didn't have ROM pans when we were kids. Yeah. Right. They couldn't use ROM pans for anything else, so. Right. <laughs> they were expensive. Yeah. It was like a special thing. You didn't have that. You got your pizza on cookie sheet and you were happy.
Jet Pizza Shuttle when we were 18. Mm-hmm. We're thinking about it, and then we actually opened up when we were 19. So that was about 1985. So this year it'd make about 24 years. And, um, and then we started out with one store, and we ended up with three within a year and a half. And then we sold two of them and kept the one uh, the current store that's on the east side of Milwaukee now. And then we had moved that store across the street uh, once, and that's where we're at currently. Well, we had uh, hired local. Uh, there's a school called Milwaukee Institute of Art and Design, and they have lots of different graduates in sculpture and design. And one of their graduates actually, I think, designed the Porsche Boxster. So they have really good industrial designers, and so we hired uh, a couple of them that went on their own uh, to work with restaurants and, and bars, and we had hired them to redo our interior. So they had made the tables and the the exterior and the interior, and they did a lots of. Uh, we hired them more for their art than for their construction expertise. So it really looks a lot different than you would expect from what uh, most people. You know, a lot of people send out coupons. I prefer to send out menus because my menus have everything on there. It makes it. I mean, it, the postage costs the same in bulk if you send one sheet of paper or like a lot. Mm-hmm. So the point is, why not? If you're going to spend the postage, you might as well send everything you can. You have a choice when you come to our store of uh, th- four crusts. You have a, a thin, you have a regular crust, like we make like a, like a Detroit style. You have a Chicago thick and chewy, we make in a pan. And then we have a square, like a Buddy's Pizza in Detroit. I think we voted two years in a row in the Shepherd News, uh, Shepherd Express, that's an alternative weekly in Milwaukee. Uh, the readers voted us best pizza two years in a row and then also runner-up in wings so we did you know we did pretty good